This bit on share bonus issues is sponsored by Examinator Online, the platform to go to for SFC exam practice questions. So what is a share bonus issue? It's an issue of new shares to existing shareholders and the proportion that they hold the shares in at no cost, so no money changes hands. Technically, it's where a company capitalizes its reserves, but you don't have to worry about that definition in the exam. Let's look at an example of how the mechanics work with the bonus issue, and then we will look at uh, an example that's more akin to what you will see in the exam, and I will show you a quick way to answer share bonus issue questions. So the example, Renko has 200,000 shares in issue. How many bonus shares will be granted and how many total shares if the arrangement is? Now we've got five arrangements, one for one and uh, down we go. If it's a one for one bonus issue, there are 200,000 shares in issue, another 200,000 shares will be issued at no cost. So the shares issued will be 200,000, therefore, Total shares will be 400,000. If it's a one for five, for every five shares held, one further share will be issued as a bonus uh, share. Then it's 40,000 shares issued. That is the 200,000 divided by five, giving 40,000. And in total, we'll have 240,000. A one for 10 issue, 200,000 divided by 10, 20,000. That's the number of shares issued taking the total shares to 220,000. Now, a two for one is where for every share you hold, you're going to get two bonus shares. So if there's 200,000 in issue, 400,000 will be issued and the total shares will jump to 600,000. And finally, a little bit trickier, five for two, for every two shares held, you get five shares, 200,000 divided by two, 100,000 multiplied by five, gives us 500,000 shares. Total shares jump to 700,000. So there's the different calculations for the different arrangements. Let's look at an example that you could face in the exam. Paul holds 400 shares in Beatles Corporation when a one for four bonus issue is announced. That is, for every four shares held, one bonus issue is received. If the price of Paul's shares immediately after the bonus issue is $4.40, what is the share price immediately before the share issue? Now, this is the question being asked backwards. Usually you're asked for the theoretical price, share price after the bonus issue, but here we're being given the price after the bonus issue and you've got to work back and calculate the share price before the share issue. Well, you lay out the template. The narrative along the top, share issues, price per share, to total value, is for illustrative purposes. You wouldn't do this in the exam when you're writing the information down on your piece of paper. So originally, four shares were held. What was the price per share? We don't know. Total value, we don't know. That's what we're going to calculate. The bonus issue, one share is issued for the four we already hold. The price per share, it's a bonus issue. It's zero. Total value, zero. Now, this will make a bit more sense. We have five shares now in issue. And the price per share is $4.40. That was given to us in the example. That means the total value of the five shares after the bonus issue is $22. Now we're going to work backwards up the table. $22, the bonus issue, zero value. Therefore, the total value of the original four shares held, $22. 22 divided by four, that gives us the price per share of $5.50. There is the answer. So. In the exam, if you're given that type of question, just put down the template, fill in all the numbers you can, and then work your way to the answer. The best way to practice for the exam questions is to go to Examinator online.